Hey, what's up everybody? David here again. It's notable mention. Um, just coming at you, bringing you a uh, couple of interesting websites I stumbled across recently. Um, let's see, recently I uh, got into what's called uh, Senja Fuda, which is uh, Japanese name seal stamps. Um, they're really like stickers, and they basically have... Um, you get a sheet of them and they have your name on them and maybe a good luck charm or an occupation of what you do. Very common in Japan. Uh, started with uh, Buddhist pilgrims moving uh, around different monasteries and leaving their mark on uh, the different areas of the, uh, the temples that they were traveling to and from. Um, anyways, um, highly influenced by the uh, Edemoji font uh, of the Edo era. Edemoji font um, basically is a style of Japanese font. <clears throat> you may be familiar with them, see them in restaurants. It's uh, big fat characters, big basket characters um, that are done. Uh, it's really cool. It's kind of a dying art right now, if I understand correctly, because um, a lot of the original people who know how to do the hand style, um, basically, they're not around, and there's very few that know how to still do it. Um, with that in mind, there are a lot of digital alternatives, but like uh, some certain American hand styles, um, Edwardian script, copper plate, black letter, most people just use a digitized version, it's a lot easier. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you basically how to write your name in this cool style font, as well as uh, create a couple seals. Um, using some free online tools. Now this took me like hours of research. Um, you know, I'm really crazy about Japanese fonts, really Japanese culture in general, um, and I really wanted to get a kind of a cool looking way to do uh, Edemoji characters. So, basically, uh, step one, uh, we're gonna basically open up our Google Translate here. My name's David. Um, so basically I try and, uh, typed in here, David, uh, from English to Japanese. Now, this is actually missing a character. It's actually missing an E right in here, but we're just going to call it David for right now, just for simplicity's sake. Um, so basically, we have the translation here. Now, uh, if you basically highlight it, okay, and then hit Control or Command C, you can copy it. It makes it really easy. So let me show you uh, the first thing that I found, and I'll put the links. Uh, it's going to be over in the left-hand side of the video in the description where you can enter in your name free and get this cool style font. Okay, first link right here. Um, this is uh, shonan-rockets.com slash rakuchin. Um, so basically, I'm going to choose a 3.8 megabyte, a uh, little bit larger of a resolution. It's very simple. You're basically going to double click on this window here. Um, I've already con control C'd my name. I'm not going to control V in the window, and I'll just take a second here to post. <sighs> Aha, now these are some default characters. We'll go ahead and get rid of these. Now I'm going to go ahead and go boom, control V. You see a portion of it. Now you can actually click here. Uh, let's see, to get different styles, um, which is cool. If your name doesn't fit at first, uh, it might scroll down. Um, you'll basically just have to use the arrow keys to scroll down. But here we are, Davido. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is, now there's no, unfortunately, way to save this image, so we're going to go ahead and take a screenshot. I'm not sure what the uh, Windows version of a screenshot is, but just go ahead and Google screenshot. Uh, on a Mac, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command, Shift, and 4, and I'm basically going to highlight my name here, and boom, just go ahead and got that, got that right there. Uh, and there are a couple different styles you can do, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, we just have to control V each one. Kind of a pain, but not bad. Um, and then there's also um, uh, a couple different uh, different options here. You can put like you know, like here's a funny fish one or something, you know, logo next to your name. Um, kind of interesting, probably all symbolic of Japanese culture. Here's the different background buttons. Now these are invisible, so just be aware of that. So that is your name right there in Edemoji. And now if I go down to my desktop here, here we are, I go boom, there we are, Debido. Go ahead and embed it in an email signature, make a sticker out of it, t-shirt. Uh, it's not high resolution as you can see, but it will do and it is free, so you can't argue with that. Anyways. Uh, Ed emoji font, this is your name. Um, second website I found is pretty cool. Um, this one is called uh, Hakushu.com. Hakushu, uh, 
basically what you're going to do is you're going to go into Google Translate. Now, uh, with this one, we're going to use a little bit simple characters in the Japanese language. They do have what's known as kanji. They are borrowed Chinese characters, um, and uh, they help simplify certain words. So we're going to keep David here, but this time we're going to go from English to traditional Chinese. Uh, we get two characters, da wei, da wei. We're going to copy da wei. We're going to go back to hakushu.com. This is a great Japanese font foundry, by the way. If you're looking for Japanese fonts, check them out. Um, they got a pretty wide selection. If I scroll down on the page here, um, ooh, look at all these cool things. Let's go ahead and make a uh, sort of uh, chop style seal. Um, what we can do here, this is a great interface. Um, basically, look at all these styles we got. Oh my gosh. Um, let's go ahead and pick one that we like. I'm just going to say 30, so we're going to go ahead and put number 30. And let's go ahead and make it kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and make it in a purple. Now, with this one, you can only cut and paste one character at a time. So I'll do the da first, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and paste da in there. You'll just see control C, control V, uh, or command C, command V. And then I'm going to hit the generate button. And there's my da character. I can do the same thing. I can basically just go ahead and do uh, command shift and four on a Mac. I'm going to highlight this area and boom, got that right there. Now let's go ahead and do the way. Uh, let's go ahead and where are we on the way here? Uh huh. So we're going to go ahead and copy the way here. And uh, actually, I'm not going to copy the way because that's going to take a, a little bit more time and I want to keep this concise for you guys. Um, let's check out how we can make another thing. This is pretty cool for signatures. Uh, this is the same one instead of the chop here. We're going to actually go up here to like more of a seal style scroll. Um, how cool is this? Uh, we can go ahead and put some of our information on here. I really like this kind of brushy style. Now this does support uh, English characters, which is cool. Um, so look at this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste. Again, Command C, Command V, Da Wei. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my email in. I'm not going to put my real one because I don't want spam. So I'm just going to put uh, Da Wei at Google.com. Not a real address. And uh, let's see, we have another option here, three. Um, I don't know what it says here, but we can put in Google Translate and find out, but we're not going to do it now. Um, and then uh, let's just put uh, California. So it does support, uh, ah, it doesn't fit here. We'll put uh, CA. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put Sacramento. And then we'll put. Sacramento, California doesn't fit. Okay, so we'll put Sacramento CA. You can put any information you really want here. Um, ah, we're going to change that email. Okay, now check this out. I generate it right here. And booyah, there we are right there. Da wei. Um, I would actually recommend actually using a full Japanese name um, in the Japanese, not simplified kanji characters. Um, but basically, you can put any information you want here. This is kind of rudimentary. Um, and then you have all these cool different styles, colors. This is all free. You can go ahead and save it, embed it in an email, uh, make a sticker. Maybe you will make your own Senja Fuda sticker, Ninja Name Seal. Um, the cool thing about these is, is that you can put them on, you know, your cell phone. I got it on my iPhone here. Put it on your Game Boy DS. Put it on whatever, you know. Put it on your little sister's forehead. Who cares? Uh, it's free. It's fun. Here's some great tools. Um, I'll go ahead and post the links in the uh, information. Uh, and uh, any uh, Japanese people out there who are watching this video, um, if you find this of interest, um, please uh, respond, leave comments in the comment box. Um, I'm definitely open and um, I'm, at, oh, I'm very receptive to feedback. If I have any other sort of historical significance misconstrued uh, or have misinformation about Senja Fuda or ed Edomoji, uh, I'd be happy to hear about that. Uh, anyways, uh, this is David, uh, notable mention, uh, and I'm out, guys. Take care.